So good afternoon students. Today we are going to demonstrate a procedure regarding checking or monitoring height and weight. Okay, so that we need a weighing machine. Weighing machine you cannot carry in the community bag. So you can have in a separate uh, uh, polythene bag and you can have a weighing machine and other articles which is required for the procedure. So you can safely uh, place the weighing machine. Then back technique. I have already taught the back technique in the last session, in the last demonstration. The same thing, I am not going to repeat the back technique procedure. So, always you have to place the bag on a paper. The bag should be in the right upper quadrant in a diagonal way. So actually there is no need to open the bag because there is no also. sterile articles required for the monitoring height and weight. So there is no need of uh, uh, unbuckling uh, the uh, bag. Only thing you have to take the unwashing articles. So any procedure uh, before and after you have to unwash. So we have to take an unwashing article from the outer inner compartment and therefore we have kept in the outer outer compartment. So after that removing your wrist watch then you have to go for the unwashing. I am not doing unwashing and with the technique you know there are seven techniques and it is familiar with the Foundation procedure. The same steps you can follow during hand washing. Next, after hand washing, we need some articles for recording the procedures. So then, article for measuring the height and weight. So that uh, we need a uh, hinge tab. So actually, it is a unsterile article. So you can keep in the unsterile compartment. And uh, we need a recording articles such as paper and. Uh, uh, pencil or pen. So these are these are the only articles we record for uh, measuring. Moreover, we need one other article uh, that is we use uh, use instead of scale we use a three dimensional object. Okay, I will tell you what, why we use the three dimensional object in uh, checking or monitoring height and weight. So let us start the procedure. So I have the patient here and uh, I am going to check the weight and uh, height okay so first let us start how to measure the length of the or height of the person okay for that you have to take the patient or the child near to the wall okay that should be straight up without any uh, projections okay then only we can get the accurate then ask the uh, person to remove the slipper and you have to stand towards the wall okay some of the points you have to Remember that both the feet should be together. Okay, feet should be together. Then heel of the foot should be touching towards the wall. Then calf muscle would be touching into the wall. Then buttocks, then shoulder. Then in an anatomical position, you have to uh, see the anatomical look. You know that what is anatomical posture. Okay, straight. The head should be should not be so erect or, or extended. Okay, the normal position. So next, uh, usually in the foundation procedure, we are doing some scale we are using for measuring the height. The scale means the scale can have it can be tilted in uh, different ways. The scale. So we can place the scale like this, and we can place the scale like this. Okay. So if you have a three-dimensional object, there are two area in the object that will be safely placed in the wall. So this side can be completely placed in the wall and this side will be also same. So then you will get accurate measurement without any uh, mistake in the measuring of height. So I will tell you how to do that. So you can use a three dimensional object over the head. Okay. So the both side, the horizontal side and the uh, single fold of the diary will be directly touching on the wall. So we have to mark under the diary. Okay. 
Now we can ask the patient to person to move and we can measure this is the actual length of the person. That we have to measure through the or with the help of the hinge tab. So actually when you measure the hinge tab, the zero of the hinge tab, hinge tab in two uh, measurement that is uh, inches and uh, centimeters. So we can uh, for measuring the height we have to use the centimeters. Okay, that would be better because we have a one formula with the height in centimeter minus hundred that can be used with the centimeters. So what you have to do means you have to start with the, see this is the marking. So this approximately the same uh, level in the floor you can start. So the thing is the zero point of the inch tap must be in the in the floor. Okay, on the ground. See that how I measure. So this is the zero part of the inch tap. So maximum how much you can extend there you can hold. Okay. Now again you can start from here. Then you will get a 150 centimeter. The inch tap is consist of 150 centimeter. Okay. Here is 150. So you can mark here 150 centimeter. Okay. Then again you have to start from from 150 you have to measure with the zero. So zero to 24. So its height is 150 plus 24. So that is 174 centimeter. One fifty plus twenty-four, one seven four centimeter. That is the height of the client. Now there are another uh, that measures you can do in general in traditional community. If you extend your hand in this way, your height will be the same. See my hand is like this. See my height will be like this. Can you? You can extend your hand like this. See that? complete okay then you can mark it this will be your right straight 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 the same mm. so already we have marked see this is the right okay so approximately you will get your height will be according to the length of the your hand in a, a straight direction Okay, now we have to take the weight. So we have a weighing machine here. Uh, in when you use the weighing machine in the community setting, you have to protect the uh, both side of the weighing machine because community people usually they may walk here and there without a slipper. Okay, so you should not spoil. We have to use for a long period, and we have to keep the lasting of the weighing machine. So always we have to protect. For that we need the, we need some paper for protection. First we have the paper to be placed this. See where you have to place the weighing machine that is very important in community setting. Mostly we have a voltage patient sir, and patient with a, a disorientation or not completely conscious because of some problems. Always you prefer a place near to the wall. Okay. That means the client may not be far okay, from the weighing machine. So, you can place your weighing machine in this way. The reading scale will be towards the person who check the weight like this. And we have to adjust the meter of the uh, reading of the or needle of the weighing machine to zero. Okay. Then only you will get the accurate. And before asking the client to stand, you just see that whether it is working or not working. So when you stand on that, it will be clear. You are weight to already you know that how much it is. Then you can make sure it is working. Okay. Now second thing is we have to protect the top of the weighing machine. See, the emission we have to use one paper like this. It should not be. <laughs> Overextended from the 
the top platform of the weighing machine should be what is adequate only how to weight. See if you take one paper like this, okay. Now you know that there is a reading. So what you can do that you can fold it like this, and you can tear a paper a small piece from here. So when you open this, you will get the reading of your weighing machines. Somehow you can tear little more according to the reading scale. So if you tear like this, you will get, you can see the reading, okay. Then you see that the paper is completely fitting the, the weighing machines. Okay, now you can ask the client to climb on the platform of the weighing machine. Ask the client to remove the slipper and to stand directly on the weighing machine and look straight. And when you measure that reading of the weighing machine, you have to kneel down or you have to sit and measure the reading. Okay, otherwise it might not be clear. Now it is, and you can stand uh, towards the needle. Okay, then only you will get accuracy. Now it is correctly 60, 60 kg. Okay. So you can remove the weighing machine and you can place it on the uh, quality in the apple. There is no need to use the same paper in the next session, you can uh, discard it. Uh, but if you go for the next client on the same day, you can use the paper. And the next day, you of course, you take the new papers for the procedure. Now, you have to record the weight. Weight is 60 kg. So, an adult person, you can roughly, you can calculate a BMI or you can calculate in another one formula that is height in centimeter minus 100. Height in centimeter minus 100. So, its height is 174 centimeter. Minus 100 means it is 74. Plus 2 or minus 2. It can be plus 2 or minus 2. That means 74 plus 2 or 74 minus 2 that is 72. Okay, that would be adequate. So, actually the your weight is at present it is less. You need uh, up to, you can have up to 74 kg and 76 kg also. So, this is about how to measure the height and weight. Okay. The thing is, what we have changed from foundation topic, instead of scale, we have used one three dimensional objective. And second thing is, height we are measured from the zero uh, part of the starting point of the uh, inch table, we are started from the down to up because height all, always measure from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100 like that. Okay. So, like that you have to measure not from the top to down. Okay. Second things, if the height is more than uh, more than uh, what we can measure, so you can in between you can hold it and you can again stand and you can measure up to 150 centimeters. Then from up 150 centimeters you can start again your input apple 0 to and you can add 150 plus how much it is. So, that will be easy. Measuring the weight you have to do, one thing is you have to protect the weighing machine. So, we need two papers, newspapers. One should be placed under the weighing machine and one should be over the weighing machine. So, that is about the topic of monitoring or measuring height and weight. Have you understood? Yes sir. Okay. Now, we can continue the pair technique. Okay. Thank you.